Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and I have my new setup, so my new um, camera, uh, my new, sorry, arm and you're a little bit closer to where I am working. So I just need to know, I have to stay in this space here hopefully. So please forgive me. So today we are doing, I can't remember what number for the 100 day project, maybe number 10, 9 or 10. And we are doing... Um, I'm going to do a, a project inspired by Angel Fish Design on Instagram and I'll link her below and she has a YouTube channel. So I'm going to go across and subscribe and um, see what she has to offer in her videos. Now she made these tucks. I just saw a photograph so I'm not quite sure what her process is. But she's made these tucks. Um, I was thinking I needed double-sided paper, but I actually don't, unless I wanted to keep one side flipping out. So let me just see. These are I've, these were all the ones I printed double for the other part. Oh, and then I've got Christmas stuff there. I don't need that. Okay, so let's just put this aside. I don't need double, really, double-sided paper. But what I could use, for example, to do these tucks, that would be a little one. Um, let's see what else I have floating around on my table. Oh, this would be good. Well, I do like using this for collage as well. And I've got this one. And I've got this green here. So maybe we can make some out of these. So what I'm going to do is just tear it down. You're probably thinking, what is she doing? I don't want them to be, like they can be as tall or as short as you like um, to go on a journal page is the thing now I might do I need to I'm not going to reinforce this I'll tell you why I'll tell you what I'll do and do a little one here so what happens is they get folded I'll fold that in half yes that's going to be good and here I'm going to fold in this bit here I'll show you what it's going to be for in a second so that's going to fold in so that's nice and strong and then on the other side, she had a little fold down like this. And I thought that was an interesting fun shape where I haven't done that. Like I've done the, you know, the, the book page ones, but not like this that wraps around the edge of a page. So let me just construct the shape for you of what I could understand from the photograph. She could have a tutorial on her YouTube. I just discovered it. So I'll be, we'll be checking it out. Um... So I'm just going to, I'm just doing that so that's nice and strong there. And then I'm going to grab one of the journals I'm working on and just show you um, how it would work. But I'm going to decorate it, of course, and it's all glued down. Right. Okay, so just say we wanted to put it on this page here. I would glue here and here, and I might have, see I have, might have to make it smaller, no, I don't. And then it can go round like this. It's a bit like the wrap around envelopes. So you could glue, I would actually glue that down there and there and have a top pocket. And then here, oh, I think it's really cool. And then here, just checking I'm on screen, I glue here and that's it, there. And maybe put a tiny bit of glue there and then you've got a tuck that's open there. Or you could glue that down and have a narrower sort of tuck. So I think that is really fun. I'm, I'm not sure what her name is. Oh dear, isn't that terrible? Because I've only just had a look this morning um, at what was going to inspire me for today's project. So I'm going to prepare a few. This is something that you can mass make like Tina does on Shabby Dabby Dabby. Shabby Dabby Doodah. I mean, I did an extra Dabby Dabby. Um, I do get excited when, I, when new things come along. Oh, I could have folded. I'll, I'll leave that. I'll leave a bit of that on because I'll fold that one in. I don't know why in my mind. I'll do a little taller one here. So we can have now this one will be narrow. Pieces of paper. Right, so that's gonna fold in like that. And I'll glue that down. We'll do all our all of our folding, and that's gonna fold down just a little bit. I think I'll just do a little bit on this one. And you can select your angle that you want to have. And then this one will be it's going to be good so what I would do with this one is or you could have something really narrow that's really cute isn't it 
or you can just glue it down the bottom and have it as a side tuck if you want to be able to fit something bigger. Oh, this is fun. I'm excited. Um, I don't know if I want to use that one, do I? Could be really nice. So how is everyone today? I have had um, post office ex escapades this morning. Went there. I waited my turn. Um, there was someone taking a long time. It actually turned out to be one of my one of our dear friends. <laughs> Um, but it was actually that their computer wasn't working. And so she tried to send one of my parcels three times. So I spent like 40 minutes there. And then I got home and I didn't send my parcels because uh, the computer was not working. There was no hope. And then um, because I'm, she's lovely, the, the girl that works at my post office and she knows me because I live there. Um, she... She rang me and she said, it's working. Do you want to come? There's nobody here. And so I drove back there and I just got there just before another lady came. And I'm going to fold that over. Um, and then I need to do some on the other side as well. You know, with the this triangle over there. And Anyway, I'll get back to what I was saying. Um, so I just got there in time. I can't tell you how many people arrived all at the same time. But to get in the end of the story, I did get my parcels shipped. However, I think I might make that into a journal spot. Well, I kind of feel like doing that today. So I think I'll just, I'm going to cut that one out because I want to keep the ragged edges. Um, yeah, so I did end up sending my parcels, but I, from going out at um, quarter past eight in the morning, I came home for 20 minutes and then I got the phone call. At, like I came home, I probably got home at 9 o'clock. 9.05 or 9.10 and then at 9.26 I got the phone call that the computer was working so I raced back and I I got home again then at around 10. <laughs> so I was thinking I was going to get so much done this morning so then I just went down to I just sort of when I got back I made myself a coffee and then I sat and had a look through to see what might inspire me and I found um angel fish design uh on instagram i uh, know on pinterest actually um i got to her through pinterest so that was i was very pleased to have found her and you'll be very pleased i hope that you find her as well now we might use also um you could certainly do it with book pages why don't we do a book page one as well so i am going to just tear it i'm just making up my um you know, the height of what I'm doing because um, they don't like, you know, I don't know what journal they're going to go into. I got distracted by what was written on there. This one I might fold like this because it's a bit wide. It's a bit deep. I might take that. Um, I think I'll fold that over. because I mean, this is pretty strong book page, actually, this one, but um, I probably don't need to worry about it. I'm going to do a double, double glue on it. I said I was going to do some on the opposite side because... I always do things on the same side and I might do a different angle tuck. And you another oh I know what else we could do these with. You could do these with scraps of scrapbooking paper. Let's see what scraps of um what scrapbooking. Oh, what about doing it with sorry, talk about distraction. You know me, jump from one thing to the next. Hopefully I remember the scrapbooking paper as well. Well that could be for another video. I won't sit, make you sit, I'd sit here and see me try to pull all that glue off. Let's see, let's get this one out. Okay, we're going to do one with that. We'll leave the scrapbooking paper. I think I've got plenty to play with here for today. Now, I think I like this bottom bit. Um, I don't think I really need to fold this one down. This is quite thick paper. I think I'll do it like that so I can get one from each side. I am going to tear that off there. So you can use your books, you can use your digis, you can use your book, your old book pages, um, you can use magazines. Uh, let's see, do I can't find where I put those other. I've been going on that one. I can't see where I put the other ones that I had put aside for myself um, to use. I don't know where I put them. Oh, there they are. See, I could use this one. We'll do one with that. So you can see. The many different things, so, oh, that's very bad tearing. I probably should have just folded it in anyway. Um, 
I'm going to tear that off. I mean, I will use that. I'm going to use that to make something out of that. I'll keep that. I'm keeping everything these days. It's just everything's a keeper. So let's just fold that one in like so, just so I can fix up that bodgy edge. And then here, I'm fold this down. I might do a different angle. I like that different angle there. And then fold it over so that if you want it to be even, you can you do your folds and then fold your other fold. Look at that really fun tucks and then we've got to focus on this one now so i'll do my, i don't want to fold that one so i'm going to fold on this side and i'll do that nice deep angle there and fold that over there we really do need to get an ideas book don't we because this is a new idea from angel fish designs and i keep saying it but i'm you, the reason why i keep saying it is because i keep forgetting and i need to remind myself who inspired me who this came from. I've never seen this type before. I'm sure someone else has done it besides her. Um, or him. I think it's a she, but I'm not sure. Okay, so now we can add our finishing tape. Well, we'll do our gluing, and then we can add a very simple project, and then we can do our gluing. And I could just decide, even though this is nice, strong, almost like my cardstock, my 160 GSM cardstock, it's fairly strong paper, but if you want to just tidy it up, you could just fold that in. Oopsie. And so, yes, depending on how wide your piece of paper is, you will then decide whether you want um, this one to be a narrow pocket or just a side tuck. This one I might leave as is. I mean, they're almost ready to go, these um, botanical ones. You could even decide just to... Um, you could decide that you don't want to put anything on them until you see where you put them. And then that might, you know, you might want to do something according, accordingly to where you've put it. It's a glorious day outside today. Let me say that. We don't often get that lovely crispy blue sky. But there was a bit of wind, so that's it's taken away all the humidity and the smog and all that sort of jazz. book page I think this one is too wide I think it needs to be folded further it needs further folding so I'm just going to glue that down and the old piece it is put that there I'm looking at oopsie I'm looking at this I actually quite like the colors in that 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 little when I see a strip like that I think of you Sharon Sharon Hearth because um, you use all those amazing little pieces as side tucks in your journals and I love the colors in that it's very old worldly and lovely it's an old piece of fresco so I'm going to put that aside to use somewhere okay so I'll put that there and I still think this bit needs a bit more folding in as well. Just make sure you glue it down properly. Otherwise, when you, um, you know, try to slip things in, they'll get caught where it's not stuck. Okay, I need it. That's a bit sticky there. Okay, this one. This one's pretty deep too. But anyway, we'll leave it just in case I work on a, a bigger paged journal. So you can see how many you can do at a time. And I apologise if anyone on YouTube has done this and maybe um, where I saw them was inspired by that person. I haven't seen the video, so I don't know if anyone's already, you know, who's done this already. I won't say if, because I'm sure someone has. And if you've got lovely wrapping papers or digitals or things like that, they can be really pretty without too much hard work. So as I often say, you don't, not everything has to be super busy. Oh, that one I already glued. Perfect. Okay, so let's have a look at them. What I might do just to give myself a bit of inspiration is grab a piece of book page 
and while I'm working on it, slide it on the book page as though it was a, in going in a journal. So that way I can kind of, you know, just see that bit and see what I want it to look like. Does that make sense? Okay, so fairly quick to organise. Now, I am wanting to use these things lately. Uh, I'm loving these trims. I think that's really pretty or would I like it to go no I think I have it going that way so I'm just going to snip it off and glue it on okay I don't know if I really want to put anything else on there. I really do like that. I could put like a flower or something like that, or I might find a little image somewhere. This would make a nice, for a little journal, that would be cute. Um, you know, I might find a flower somewhere that I want to put on there. I don't want to put that. Just seeing in my scrappy dappies here of the things left on my desk from other projects. Oh, that's cute. I actually quite like that. Sometimes I like, you know, I do all my ripping and I mean, they've got ripped edges, but, and I overlap things, but sometimes I like things, some things I feel like I just like them to be um, sort of more regular as well. I'm thinking I might like that to wrap around, I do. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold it like that before I glue it, just so I can see. I think that'll, that'll work. I definitely think if you put it on, even might not go on that page, just if you put it on a piece of paper so you can see what it's going to look like, um, it does help you uh, envision how you're going to be decorating it or how things are going to look as you put them on there. Oh, there's just not enough hours in our day for all this fun. There's more fun to be had. But we need more hours for the more fun. Okay, so that's going to go there. See, like, you know, that's kind of disturbs to see the white there. And it's disturbing to see that. So that's why I had it on here. So that I can see fully, the full effect. And I would just run a bit of glue there. And I'd just run a bit of glue down the centre. And then stick that one down. And this one is deep enough that I would put a little snip here. And then glue around here and around here and have a nice pocket for a for a tag. Now let's look at this and see if we might like. Oh, I quite like that. You see, it's all very regular, but I like it. Okay, you know, just, just whatever. Sometimes you just do things a bit different to your norm. Yep, I like that. I could decide to have a scripty. Tracy label, Tra I love junk journals, um, if I can find them. I know I had a sheet here on my table flying around. Here they are, I can see them. So I haven't put anything away, so I just keep fishing from similar things. So this could be a sample number, number 670. One of my passions has always been um, textiles. Uh, when I studied fine arts in Florence for two years, I've told you before, it was just the most amazing course. I did it at a, a restoration school. I think I'm gonna put that there. Um, oh my gosh, I cried. It was like very hard for me because I didn't speak English, uh, Italian so well, only a bit. And, um, and I had been in Australia for a year because I had to go back and and some money to be able to pay for it. My gran helped me pay for one year and then I paid for the other year. Um, there we go, that one's done. And then, um, so w one of my most favorite subjects was textiles. We studied the history of um, textiles. So what, you know, the patterns, how they changed and everything. And um, we also studied um, 
I wish we studied embroidery. We didn't study embroidery. Um, I w and then we also studied uh, rugs. Oh, my gosh, I loved the rugs. I knew all the rugs. I knew all the designs. I can't remember anymore. Isn't that a shame? Um, yeah, I used to know all of the different rugs from Kazakhstan. I think I'm just going to put that label there. This is just so lovely. Um, yeah, for all the different rugs. I knew them all. It was just it was just the best course and we did ceramics i love that as well i love the ceramics and they used to take us to the museums around italy and and show us you know um what we were studying so it was just oh i just loved it but i did they did interrogations you know that not police interrogations the like what lulu has where they um well it's like a examination but they they are they question you you sit there in front of a panel and they question you. It's terrifying. It's the most horrendous thing. I just can't, I don't, I mean, I, I so admire the Italian kids. They're so used to it and they just do it. I mean, Lulu just does it. She prefers a written test, but they, I mean, because she says you have to think on your feet and sometimes you have a mental blank and it's awkward and that one's done. Like, it's just so pretty. I don't want to cover that up. Um, yes, yeah, so I had to do that and oh, I love this. And I had to do it um, in front of when my final exam, because it was a private school, like not a private, you know, high school, if you know what I mean. Like it was a private, um, it wasn't like a university course, like you you paid for it. So um, not not just the university taxes, if you know what I mean. So I um, you had to be, for it to be uh, official, the diploma, you had to be um, questioned by an external panel. It was the most terrifying thing. We had to learn, like, civil law as well because, um, yeah, we had to know that because it was all, they looked, taught us all about catalogues and, you know, auction houses and, and that sort of thing. I think I'm going to put that there like that. Um, and so, I, yeah, I got interrogated by this panel. It was just incredible. Um, I was so nervous but I, you know I did well so I was pleased because I loved it so I studied hard I used to have to record the lessons I used to record the lessons and come home and have to re-listen to them and that and because I couldn't understand the words and then because I was only you know what I, I had I didn't speak Italian that well um and so I and I didn't know all of the terminology either so I I would record the lessons and then I think I quite like that up there and I might come up, have it come around the back. Um, and so I would call the lessons. And because Italian, um, the nice thing about Italian, the grammar's hard, but the nice thing about spelling Italian is they pronounce every single letter. There's a few rules. And once you know the rules, you know how to write it. Mostly, for the, in most cases, you're able to figure out how to write. So I used to listen and write down what they said and then look it up in the dictionary. I can't tell you, it used to take me forever to rewrite my notes because I couldn't obviously I wrote very strange notes um <laughs> in the classes because I didn't understand didn't know the words I'm thinking I might like one of these these little samples I think these would be fun I might print these on fabric I think they'd be really fun to be reprinted on fabric because they are textiles they're little um tapestry samples I think I might put that there yes why not having a bit of a textile day today aren't we am I on screen oh yes this is wonderful I can actually now see my phone I couldn't see it before because I was the arm I'm, I'm I was using was a iPad arm and I used to record with my iPad and you'll notice in my earlier videos it was quite sometimes quite often hard to hear me so then we decided I got the better phone and we did we recorded with the phone, but I was putting it in the iPad holder, which wasn't made for it, and I couldn't see. I couldn't like yeah, I couldn't see what I was doing, and I could only just. That's why I had trouble turning you guys off because I could only just tap the on off button because it was completely covered. I think we might have one of these on the other side, but a florally one. So um, now I've got I bought a proper arm for the for the telephone. And um, and so I can see the phone. 
and it seems to be a more secure arm. It's one of those metal sort of arms that has the, the springs and everything, whereas the other one was one of those stiff ones that you had to manoeuvre and bend, and it was you could never get it to go in the exact right position. I'm just having a bit of a whinge. Or maybe I'll put that there. Do I like it more down there? Can you tell me, do I like it there? Or do I like it there? I think I like it there. I'll answer my own question. I don't think I make that one into a pocket, so I think I'll glue on that. Okay, I'm very happy to use these. I had not used this kit for such a long time. I love that. Don't you love it when you love it? Okay, so this one would go in not on this page. Let's grab a different page. We'll keep this one near because we might need it for another one. Let's just grab this piece of paper. Just say this is my page. Let's pretend this is my page. We'll put it that way. So this one would go on that, so that this is the centre of my book and this one would go on that side. So this one can have more embellishment on it because it's, um, I better not lose all my little pockets, tucks in the pile of mess there. So this one can have some little collaging on it, I think. Mm -hmm. There really are some wonderful things here. Oh, I love that. I love that. Let's get this one. I shouldn't I'm coordinating it to this, and that's not even where it was. It's going to go and live. I think I might put that there. And have it come around there. But I think before I glue that down, I might work on this side because I might want this to glue over something. I don't know what, but something. So. been enjoying using my Paris kit lately. Okay, so those are all. Oh, we've got some we've got some scripty things here just a minute. Let's see what scripty do's we have. quite like that. I'll put that there and then we'll put something else on. I just might bring it down a bit. Or do I have something bigger? But I do like those colours. Oh, I have this lovely one. But I don't want to cover up all of the the um, the, the book page. Just a lot of it. <laughs> oh, these are some old ones. I don't think I've ever put these ones in a kit. I might like that colour too. Let's just have a look. going still recording still on screen yay i think i might like this setup i've had to slide over to the edge of my table whereas i had stuff there but i might be able to function better because i'll have i don't really have a lot of mess here on my left side and i'm a lefty and quite often things just get in my way so i could put that one there and you can see a bit of the paper and oh i think those colors work Or do I prefer the yellow? Do I drive you mad? I know I, I shouldn't ask that question. I'll get lots of yeses. I think I like the pink. The pink, the salmon sort of colour. It's really a salmon colour, isn't it? If we want to be pedantic.
He's going to cover that up a little bit. That's okay. Maybe I'll slide it more down there. How about that? Yes, let's do that. Now the question is, do we want to add something else there? I'm just going to tear down. Oh, I've got these. these I thought these are lovely as little sort of label sort of things, but embroidered ones. And I'm looking at these thinking, you certainly, you know, when you're stitching too, you could certainly look at these old designs, even though this is a totally different... Um, technique to slow stitching for example but you certainly could take inspiration from these little things nope. I think I like it there you know me do, doing weird I do weird things I just put them in weird spots cover things up I put things down to cover them up. It's very slippery paper, that, that book page. Put it there. That's where I like it. That's where I'm putting it. Okay. Now we're going to flip over here and we can do something else. Get rid of that. Right. What will we put here? Let's see what if I have anything small enough here. Otherwise, we have to go and fish somewhere else. Oh. I could like something like that. Maybe there. I'd have to tear it down. No, maybe not. Oh, that's a good piece. Oh, that can be torn down a little bit. We'll have a little strip of this. Like that. Or there maybe. So let's tear it off a bit more. So I don't have to fold it around the corner. Put it there. Oh, I just had a flash of my mum with her Yahoo glue. <laughs> oh my goodness, you can just imagine with the glue going Yahoo. I said it, I did. Anything else in there? I don't think so. So that's that side. Now we've got to do this side. What else are we going to put on here? Mm -hmm. The only thing about this bird, this particular one, it's on the sticky paper. This bird might be too big. I had a, a smaller version of the bird. I'm just going to cut off that annoying bit there. Um, but I think I might have used it, so I might have to print them up again. Because this is from the, the journal paper. I wish that the um, the sticky, you know, the, the label paper, the full label paper um, were, I quite like the bird. I should have put that more over there. It doesn't matter. Or we could have the bird there. Maybe we'll put the bird more over there and we'll put a label there. That's a good idea. There we go. Um, the, and the only thing about this, the, this like, like sticky paper is... It'd be very convenient, wouldn't it, to be able to print everything on there that you wanted to cut out. But it doesn't print as clearly as the nice um, HP copy paper. The HP copy paper sticks is um, prints better. It's more 
vibrant. And the other thing about sticky paper is you've got to be careful when you're sticking it down because um, if you don't put it in the right spot, it's not forgiving. If you put it crooked, it's going to stay crooked. You won't be able to adjust it. I did have another one of these somewhere. This one's not the right colours. Not the right size, I should say. Where is it? I just saw it before. Here it is. Let's see what's on this one. Oh, I don't think there's anything here. Well, that one might do. Or that one. Let's have a look at those. Oh, I, t I love these ones with the darker border around them as well. I really like those. So I had a comment today on my faux she, which I just deleted. Um, <laughs> it's been quite a, that was quite a con controversial video, wasn't it really? People rubbed some people the wrong way, like calling it um, washi was not allowed. We had the washi police out. And then we've had the using too much tape police out and saying oh this is a this is very very um wasteful way to use tape well little do they know that i bought a bundle of tape it was so cheap that it'd be cheaper than and probably better than making your own washi tape than purchasing it from china um and second of all she was she wrote oh i'm gonna go and do do a better way than that and i'm like well do you know what if you can if you can make a foshi in a cheaper better way then please share share it with us let us see it we'd love to see it we'd love to see what you come up with because we can always learn that's what i wanted to say i thought it was kind of um a silly comment in the sense that you know you could be a bit more constructive because it was in there it's a it's a it's a valid observation that you're using a lot of tape depends how much you paid for your tape I, I can take that on board about, you know, using a lot of tape. Um, but be constructive. Okay, and, and yeah, and send me over to your channel so I can see your, your better version of it. I'd love that. Because, like, you know, I'm, you know me, I'm up, I'm up for trying other people's things and methods, ways and methods. Okay, I'm going to cut these flowers out, I think. No, don't worry, I'm not going to cut it all out because I'd like to keep some of the script. And I'm going to have them at the bottom of this mystical scene here, I think. But I'll have to trim them down because they're going to be too big. But I need to cut them out before I decide. I thought that was quite funny this morning when I got that um, message. I didn't care. I just deleted it. I'm not going to acknowledge, you know, I'm not, well, I'm acknowledging it now, but I'm not going to reply to, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but um, <laughs> I just think it's so funny that, that that particular video caused a bit of a stir with some people. Even on when Gail did it too, she got a lot of... Um, the same people coming along and someone else did oh i think edith did too um she got a bit of thing about it too isn't this pretty i think this is gonna oh i'm gonna have that go there and i think i'm gonna have it go right around the corner now it won't be fun to stick it's gonna come around the corner but on this side before that comes around the corner i've got this little bit here i don't need that nella suggestiva bruma Matutina. I don't know what Bruma Matutina is. A pari tempo del crocifisso di Todi. Ah, that's in Todi. Okay. Um, right. I need some book page. Where's my book page? Here it is. I had. Oh, I actually sometimes like these pieces. What you could do something with that? We should keep that and do something with that one. Um, I 
Yeah, I've got it. I had I had a whole pile of book pages. I, I've spread out here. I'm in a bit of a mess. Oh, here they are. I can see them. I can see them. I can. They have revealed themselves. Here's a torn one. Let's use a torn one. There's so many ideas. I mean, I sort of think every morning, oh gosh, what am I going to do today? And then, but there really are so many things, so many ideas we forget about that need to be revisited. They really do. Um, whether I've done them or I've watched somebody else do them and I've never made them or I've seen them on Instagram or that sort of thing or um, Pinterest. There's so many things to revisit. Now, I've just got to figure out how far over. I think maybe like maybe like that. So I think I might stick it on this side first. This is going to be fun and fresh to do because it's very hard to to manage your sticky paper because it's not forgiving. I guess you could make it forgiving if you were to put glue all over it, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having the sticky paper, doesn't it? So I'm just going to go slowly. I'm going to have it like that. Hopefully it goes straight. If it doesn't, wow, well, it looks a bit crooked. I can see I've put it on crooked. Oh well. I was going to have more there, but that's okay. I do like this idea though. And we need to have, um, let's see what we need to have over here. We need to have something. Don't want to cover it up too much. It, I do like this scene. I just think I need a different label. Let's just have a look if I would like a label or not. I'm thinking I would like one of the vertical ones. I didn't really want to have green. I would prefer to have red. But anyway, I might have to go into my... Oh, I could probably go into my little booklet and see what I have. I might keep you here all day, guys. This is just too much fun. But I need to actually go and work on... My, I have been working a little bit on my stitchery because I've got so much to do before I'm finished. I, I might not finish it tomorrow in tomorrow's video. I might have to finish it mostly off screen. No, that's not right. Um, and and just show you because I think I've still got a lot to do. I need to see what else is in here. I might not have anything that's appropriate. I've ripped this pocket, but it's actually kind of convenient because I can see my... It's ripped there, but I can actually... I can see them easier. Oh, now I do like that one. That's, not, that's bigger. But I don't want green. I want red. Do I have one that's red? You can't always have what you want. Let's pull them out so I don't rip it. I don't have any vertical ones. I think I've used them all. I have. I've probably got another... Sh I've got another sheet printed over there. Just a minute. What does this have on it? Of course it doesn't have a red one. No, it doesn't. It's got a green one. I've got more. Well, oh, that, there's... Oh, sorry, there's another one. Oh, there's two more. We could be lucky. We could be. Could be could be our lucky day. Oh, that's an interesting shape. Love junk journals. Tracy Fox. Just for those who don't know her. This is where they come from, these wonderful labels. Now someone told me Tracy has some textile labels. I'll have to go over and have a look at those. Um, there's a nice big green one there, but I want a big red one. Oh, I know. I might look here. I do have these. These are good sometimes. Oh, look at that. Oh, now that one's interesting. That could be... I forget to go into these ones. There's some good ones in here too. Oh, I love that. I love those. These are really good. Oh, here's a big one. What's on this one? Here's a circle. Mm-hmm. Don't know if we can do the circle. I'm not good with circles. Well, that's a circle. That one I can cut out as a square because that's got that other bit. Sample. Oh, I like that. Okay, but it's not really a sample. I like these. Let's have a look at these just quickly. Just bear with me a second because I need to audition things. I need to make sure I'm, I've, I've, you know, seen all of my options before I make a decision. That's how I am. I need to check out all of the. That's too big. I think I've only got big ones of these and I need smaller ones. That's a bit scary, that creature. 
These are all big ones. I think I separated them into bigger and smaller. Whoops. And again, I'm feeling like I need red, not blue and not green. I could have brown, but I feel like I need red. That's my feeling. So let's just deal with this page first. So we've got these options here that I don't mind. I'm just going to trim this one down. See, it's got the little thing down there, which is why I'm not going to cut out the circle. I'm not good at cutting out circles. Not really good at cutting out squares either. I can see how crooked it is. Oh, declined. That's not good. Well, we don't want that one. I don't want to be declined. Now, I don't think I want these square, so I need a circle. I have to cut this. I'm not very good at this. I'll just take it slowly. Oh, we've got another, still another one to do. One or two? I don't know. Two. Those don't need much, the other ones, I don't think. That, look how bad that is. That's terrible. See, and then I have to go around again, and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. I'll just stay... Try and stay off the, the the dark the dark line. Does that happen to anyone else? Do they when you cut a circle does it become yeah, look at that, it's just shocking, it's a shocker. I don't mind the circle, but I might prefer one of these. I prefer one of these. I think I might have one of these. Ones with the bugs. The reason why I like to, to cut with my big scissors, you see that? You can go down the whole line. And that's how you get it straight on these short things. Or straightish. Let's say straightish. But you can cut the whole thing in one snip. Whereas if you've got your little scissors, you have to go like this. And then that's when you go really crooked. I think I'm going to stick this one on. Yes. That, stick that on that one that we've made that decision and that's done I'm not going to do any more that's it on this side oh, I love that that doesn't really need much I think this one can have a circle I'll put the circle and I put the circle there does it need a circle or it could have one of these, you see. Oh, I think I like that label. I think I'll do that one. So no circle. Um, I, I shied away from the circle as per usual. There we go. That pocket's done. Now that pocket took a little bit longer because we we're working with some, you know, this photo, which is a bit harder. Now we've got this and we've got the other one. So just to give me the, a gauge, and I could just stick, keep it simple and stick my little circle on there, or I could stick, maybe I'll just stick something like that there, maybe something bigger. Oh wait, we've got these, we've got room for these, that one's too big, I quite like this one, the colours, oh this could be good, let's have a look. And then we'll decide quickly. So I've got quite a lot done. How, how long have I been recording? Oh, 48 minutes. This is a long one. Not my longest ever. I've done longer ones, haven't I? Huh. But they're fairly quick, I would say. I like that. I'm going to stick that right there. I think I'll cover that, go over that line. That's That one's done, that side. that's that let's just flip this over so we can see what it's going to look like not that I'm going to have it necessarily I, you know I could let's just put this page underneath just say so you had book page love it now this one I'm going to I would glue that right down I'm not going to put too much on this one because I love the flowers I think I'm just going to put that little circle there kind of like it up there as well I think I'll put it down here because there's a bit of space down there. I'm just going to glue that. I seem to be sliding around a lot. So I'll just take my one piece to glue on. And I'm going to put that down there. Like that. 
There we go. That one's done. I've got one more. This one. I'll tell you what I'm not loving. I'm not loving this bit here. I think I'm going to fold that over. Maybe I'll just snip it off. I'm not loving it. There we go. That's, I like that more now. Don't know why it was just a, just didn't like it. Okay, so what do we have here? We have this one. I don't feel like these pages need a whole lot. What you could put on these pages is a butterfly or a bird would be really nice on the on on these um, botanical book pages. Those things would be nice too. But I don't want to go and pull. I love that. I don't want to go and pull them all out now because we've been here for a long time. But that's another option. Just thought I'd put it out there. We're going to use Tracy labels. I think that's perfect. That's that side. And oh, this side doesn't need too much. Uh, let's see. These are all, all so big. I need to print out some smaller ones. Oh, I think this is going to be lovely. See, snip right across and you've got a better chance of... Um, going straight unless you're holding your scissors crooked which I could very well be doing yep I think that's going to go there or no down there no up there and I put that up there I love it right we're done hope you enjoyed that I think this is the funnest idea thank you so much um wait, where's my piece of paper here we go Angelfish Design. I'll put the links. I'll link her YouTube. I haven't watched any of the YouTube, her YouTube videos yet, but I will be. I've, I think I've saved some in my watch later, but it depends when I get to watch later. Sometimes it's quite a bit later, um, as in a month later, but <laughs> it depends how quickly I get there. Um, but I'll also link her Instagram as well. And that, this is I saw this on Instagram, this type of thing, but hers were a little bit different. Um, but they were lovely. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let's just recap. So that's, I'll put them on this page. So that's one, as I said, glue here and put a bit of glue down the center. And this can be like a pocket where you can slip in a tag or it can be a side tuck, whatever you decide. I think that's so much fun. And you've done two pages for the price of one. There we go. I love that. I'm going to do more. I love this one. This one was a struggle. This was harder um, just because of the subject matter behind. But I really like that. I liked the idea of having that. I must remember that. Um, the, the flower folding around. Oh, this is on book page. So let's do this one on just a piece of decorative paper. To say that's my page. That would be like that. And then like that. There. You can get back this one now. So this would be on the edge of the page. Like so. Isn't that wonderful? I love that. And that's the other side. And then this one. So I had most of mine with that on that side because I forget to fold down on the opposite side. Which just simply means you're going to have it always on the same thing. That one and that one. There we go. I've really enjoyed that project, guys. That's something we need to remember. So I hope you enjoyed it too. I'll put some photographs. I don't know how I'll photograph these. How will I photograph these? I'll just have to... Maybe I'll put them... On the edge of a piece of paper i'll just put them in a row maybe i'll do the backs of them like this just for uh, for my thumbnail like that and then the other side i'll photograph individually on a piece of paper so you can see what they look like yeah that's what i'll do all right thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye